This program is supported by Echo Communications, a digitally integrated commercial printer and mailer located in New London, New Hampshire since 1997, with roots going back much further as the Country Press, AccuMail, and the home of the Kearsarge Shopper. Echo Communications. Welcome back to Yankee Chronicle. I'm your host, Abby Peel, coming to you from a place that we don't need a heck of a lot of uh, setting for because it, it speaks for itself. We're here at Spring Lunch Farm here in New London. I'm now joined by Greg Berger. Hi, Greg. Hi, Abby. It's always fun to come back and see you and look at all the things that have happened, but a lot mm -hmm. of things stay the same, too, because it's always a beautiful backdrop for us. Thank you. Yes. Thank you for having us. Tell us what's new here at Spring Lunch Farm. Well, we are into the spring, early summer here at the farm, and we've had a, a nice weather spring so far. A lot of people out gardening, which is great to see. Uh, we've got our garden started out in the fields. Great. Uh, pretty much planted most of everything. Wow. You know, from arugula to zucchini. Wow. Uh, we are picking our strawberries now, and uh, which is always a big hit, and a lot of people ask about that. Yeah. So we're picking quartz at the farm stand, and uh, we'll pick your own. We'll be open any time now. So check our website, that's the best place <clears throat> to get the latest um, on Pick Your Own Strawberries. Amazing. Yep, all the information on that. We're picking our tomatoes now. Yeah. Um, and all the other produce is starting to come in. Yeah. Really great. And for someone watching who's saying, oh, I keep you know, running out of time to plant something mm. or do a planter outside of your front door, is it too late? And if it's not, what do you suggest? Right, it is never too late. Oh, I like to hear <laughs> to that. To plant plants, that's, of course, I'm gonna say that. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah, we, we pride ourselves in having a nice crop of, of vegetable plants and flower plants and perennials and shrubs and hanging baskets that are fresh all through the summer. Amazing. Because we know a lot of people, including ourselves, yep. like I haven't planted my garden yet. I oh, say, is but, it like the plumber's house never has yeah, water? Exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. <laughs> um, so we always have, I like to always have fresh plants that are ready, both in four packs and in pots and in hanging baskets and also in finished containers. So if, if you're looking for a container and uh, you just feel like you're just not going to have time to do it or you're you're stuck you can come in and we'll help you choose up some plants and all that but we also have some that we've done up Amazing. that are ready to go we like that so, too yeah i always think too you like to add something new every year so mm -hmm. then that's when i kind of look around and i'm thinking okay what could i add there so you could really help somebody to guide them in the right direction on this is somewhere that gets a lot of shade or mm -hmm. too much sun i really realized recently that there are plants that like don't like a lot of right. sun yeah right. <laughs> exactly yeah and we have it split up between our different display benches on what's a shade area what's a sun area um, and we can help you with that love and, that uh, certainly we we have a lot of new varieties this year, as every year we do. You know, yep. We're just like a home gardener. We look at the catalogs in the fall and the winter, <laughs> and we, we oversubscribe. Shop for and plants, we, yep, okay. We get yeah. too many, and we don't have space, but, but it all works out. So we've got some new varieties that are really fun, um, both in the annuals and in perennials and shrubs. Too, Great. So, yeah. We know in uh, the last two years in COVID, you were forced to kind of move the farm stand outside into a tent, mm -hmm. but now you're back in and a bit expanded. Talk about everything inside, because uh, the farm stand is something everybody needs to come check out. Yes, yes, please do it. <laughs> and yeah, come in the farm stand. Um, we used to have the produce under the tent, yep. as you mentioned, yep. the last couple of years. This year we have it in the farm stand greenhouse. So if you walk in the farm stand and take a right, there's signs there and you'll see it. Um, we've and got plenty to choose from. Plenty to choose from and it's all in one area now. So you can shop that. We've got a new register system that um, it's, it's proving to be faster checkout. Okay, so we that's like that. Great. And uh, yeah, everybody's excited. For and everything in the farm stand is picked within a certain close period of time? Yes, yeah, we go out to the fields every morning and uh, wow. pick what we need. You know, pick X number of strawberry quarts, uh, bring them back. If we run out, yep. we'll go out and pick some more. Uh, so it's definitely as fresh, about as fresh as you can get. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. And one time when we were here in the last couple of years, you talked about the expansion into this field next door, and mm -hmm. that's probably brought you a whole new uh, plethora of different things that you can go pick yes. from. Yeah, exactly. The fields, the Messer fields that uh, Osmond Sargent protected, we have leasing the fields from them, which is fantastic. It's great soil. It's hard to find around these parts. And, really? Uh, yeah, we're able to get, we've got garlic up there. We've got onions and brassicas, which is like broccoli, cauliflower. Incredible. So it's been a real nice addition to our And we just watched growing. them head off uh, with some baskets yes. here a minute yep, ago to head out there. What kind of um, acreage did that bring you for, that for planting? Us, uh, you know, about 
six acres that we can use and we we do a lot of crop rotation and cover crops so we're trying to keep the soil soil healthy yep so a couple acres every year will just be in a plant that we don't sell okay we don't pick because it's helping bring nutrients back in the soil oh. and, all that. and then we rotate back to that it's just a way to keep everything going for the future yeah and awfully convenient yes. too yes, yes it's a fantastic spot yes what are the hours these days at spring so our hours are monday to saturday monday to friday uh, nine to six saturday nine to five thirty and sunday nine to four Although there's one caveat on Tuesdays, we open at 10 because we like to have a big farm wide meeting to bring all the crews together a from nine to 10 on Tuesday mornings. And that's kind of the only time that we can do it. So. We think you're allowed to yeah. do that. Okay. Yeah, as long, as long as you're open, people can wait till 10, right? Yes, right. And it, we've been doing that for a few years. So hopefully it's it's uh, out there in the Good to know. everybody's mind. Yeah. And always online too, check it yeah. out. Check us out online and our Instagram page. We're we add new photos to that all the time and I'm a loyal follower stuff. Oh, thank you. Well, Greg, thank you so much for hosting us uh, for these two weeks. Next week, we're going to talk about something everyone loves. Uh, strawberry season yeah. is here. So we'll talk right. next week about that. All right, great. Thanks, Greg. Thanks. When your Yankee Chronicle returns, Ray Martin has some good news about the upcoming 2022 Warner Fall Foliage Festival. But first, please listen to these words from one of the community minded businesses that make our show possible.